for this last day i explained about the translation concept of the translation little revision of it x prime y prime equivalent to some matrix which is translate the vector which vector original vector with values of its extension that moving uh, how much it is moving along x axis how much it is moving along y axis so you will get an out in terms of x prime and y prime mm -hmm. very simple okay in exam i may be ask that some vector 1 2 the i may give you some vector 1 2 please translate it with two or three two meter horizontally three meter vertically so i can compose any kind of question you need to do it graphically like you need to make a graph original vector then the translated vector then you need to show it okay in an exam okay well, let me explain in detail for example, in case of rotation, did you try the concept of rotation? I know you are busy in what? Music. <laughs> so, in rotation case, if you are having, you want to rotate some vector in 2D domain, one is the x axis, another is y axis, and there is, an, there is a vector and you can say the vector is having some point x, y of course it is from origin where coordinates are 0, 0 now we want to rotate this vector to its new position and its new position you can say to this remember that the length of the vector r uh, okay length of the original vector r after rotation what will be the length brilliant it should be same okay r uh, but point will be changed that is prime p prime there is my basic direction Yes, direction changes. Okay, it is kind of we are talking about the rotation. Last day I demonstrated the rotation of the cameraman with the help of angle 45. Let me tell you where angle 45 will be substituted. Okay, that's not here. Yes, let's see how it will work. Okay, yes, brilliant. Original vector, original vector is having an angle theta along x axis and this angle theta is theta 1 but after rotation this angle will be changed of course there is some addition of the angle and this addition of the angle can be written to theta 2 so if you are talking about this theta one, theta this p prime vector then of course it is encompassing both the angles theta 1 plus theta 2 so you can apply any trigonometric ratio what kind of trigonometric ratio of course here cos will work cos theta 1 yes, plus theta, theta 2 one. so base our hypotenuse in this case what should be our base our base is kind of x prime because we are talking about the new vector okay so what is your hypotenuse as i told you r r you are you told me actually you are genius people you told me the vector magnitude will not be changed on rotation so it's the r or you can say the so base of hypotenuse oh, that's i apologize okay yeah in, uh, you can say movement of okay. <laughs> Yeah, there's the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, yes, please. 
Okay, base is what? Base is here what? X prime our high part in use. So your x prime you can write it cos theta one plus theta two until here is it clear? Yes. Thank you so much. My children, now you should apply your SSC, secondary school certificate, <laughs> study, you stu studied about this in ninth grade, or you may first hear about the trigonometric value, kind of cos alpha plus beta equivalent to what? Cos alpha minus sin alpha sin beta. Here alpha is what? Theta 1. Beta is what? Theta 2. So my children, you need to substitute there. And this you are basically, this cos theta 1, of course it will become, okay, theta 1 plus you, you need to expand it. Then your new vector. x prime r cos theta 1 cos theta 2 minus sin theta 1 sin theta 2 and further okay very i need your kind attention i am begging please you can consider the original vector original vector white color okay r make you the same you need to apply trigonometric ratio on it then you are out of it, it is what only one theta okay theta one basically so you are having this so it can be given cos theta one equivalent to what is the high part in use r and base is x this base we are talking about this point is it clear? Yes, so now it will become x cos theta 1 cos x equal to r cos theta 1. So you can here similarly you will yeah exactly similarly cos r cos theta 1 will, will be replaced with x and this will be replaced with y. So it will become x prime will become x cos theta 2 minus y sin theta 2. Is it difficult? Similarly, you can further apply a trigonometric ratio along y axis then you are sine sine theta 1 plus theta 2 equivalent to what perpendicular or hypotenuse perpendicular is what y prime y prime our this one you can further write it y prime equivalent to r sin theta 1 plus theta 2. Similarly, you can apply the trigonometric ratio. Your y prime will become what? In this case, do you know the formula? Yes, sir. What is it? Sin theta 1 cos theta 2 plus cos theta 1 cos theta 1 sin theta 2. Now you can see this will. Okay. This will be changed with x and this will be changed with y. So here y cos theta 2 plus x sin theta 2 applying or you can say by arranging in a beautiful order you can write x sin theta 2 plus y 
cos theta 2. There are, this is your equation second, this is your equation, blue one is equation first. You can encompass these two equations in form of a matrix. Because you need to know. So you can write x prime, y prime, of course here cos theta 2 minus sin theta 2, here sin theta 2 cos theta 2, so along with it what? Original vector x, y, you will get your answer. At this Okay, in the exam, in exam, let me give you an exam. I, I will not explain this question here, okay? But I can ask this question in exam. For example, a point four three is rotated in counter clockwise direction by an angle 45 degree find the rotation matrix R and the resultant vector P prime or you may say you need to know P prime R P. Very simple. Yes. What you need to do, you just for here 4 and 3, you need to substitute the value of theta to sin it's 45 degrees, then it will equal to minus 1 over or uh, 1 over square root 2. You need to multiply this matrix with this, you will get us this new prime P. Similarly, last day I did in front of you with the man here, the, for example, camera management, you need to multiply this camera management with this matrix. Yeah. This is a benchmark matrix. In kind of matrix, rotation, you are, are playing on your mobile phone, mathematics, mathematics behind this, okay? Yes. You are, people like you composed an algorithm by following this mathematics. If there is no this kind of mathematics, you cannot rotate the thing. Is it okay? okay. Yes. Actually, I don't need to teach you. If you uh, just this is kind of proof, okay? This is kind of proof for understanding. Yes. So we have to do like this. You don't want to do this. Because you are doing this right now. This is called algorithm. This is algorithm. You need to make a pseudo code of it. Where in your computing programming. But this is the mathematics. Okay? You need to know what kind of equations are working behind you there is a math there, there are methods to make a code from these equations there is no code which cannot okay apply uh, deduced from the equation every code is deduced from some equation but you know this this kind of equation then you can make your own code okay your own transformation your own application your own filters mobile filters 
in kind of, I mean, in not only in mobile filters, in self-driving cars here, even auto, uh, this camera is rotating, uh, uh, this kind of uh, algorithm is working behind it. Auto focus uh, are uh, zooming, uh, drones are uh, uh, flying uh, by capturing the pictures uh, wherever there is a person, and so camera is moving, rotating, so this algorithm, this algorithm is working. Okay? If the camera, if camera, camera is looking in some particular direction, yes. this is kind of a vector, and this wherever, for example, it's locked in the, in the you can say, GF-17 Thunder, okay, it locked the enemy aircraft. So, the cam computer, computing vision, okay, of course, locked with the help of some vectors, in 2D, in 3D, maybe it's 3-axis, but it's locked. And this matrix is, of course, okay, observing, changing the angle 45, 43, 48. The people who are air traffic controller, are the, who are at the back end, they are telling, or even the pilot is observing the changing of the maneuvers of the enemy aircraft. Okay, and he set the target. So then he fire. Okay, targeted the aircraft with his missiles, kind of thing. So this. Is, well, basic you should know. Problem is with, um, I am, uh, I should not say this, you people are genius, okay? Yes. But some people, you don't know that thing. Please, try to learn. Okay. I am not saying, okay, you people are genius. <laughs> so, similarly scaling. The concept of the scaling is the same, okay? You are increasing, you are decreasing, okay? For example, there are certain possibilities in scaling. Size, size of the matrix. Similarly, you are setting, there is a certain rifles, GM3, or you can say machine guns, 100, 200, 300 range. They are setting the target length of the vector in Vira. So increase the size, increase the size, decrease the size, uniform. Uniform scaling means that uniform scaling last day I portrayed camera man in front of you. Do you remember? Yes. yes sir. Length, number of rows 256, number of columns 256. These are kind of scale image. So uniform means you are increasing the number of rows, x axis and y axis both. Okay? Simultaneously. So you are decreasing both at the same scale. This is known as uniform scaling. But for example, you are stretching. And so there is some kind of a. You want to. Delta x, basically, what? Small delta means this kind of delta, wherever you see. This shows small change, small values along x-axis. Small change along x-axis x -axis should be greater than zero. zero. Or you can say delta y should be less than one. If this is yes, yes, yes. Okay, you want to maintain or you want to keep uh, the extension of delta y along the y axis. For example, you have some image, 2D image, you want to increase its okay height. It looks like that your face looks like skinny face. Yes. Yeah, very but, but if you extend, you are okay, preserving, you are keeping it at the low, and you are extending the x axis, uh, okay, you, it looks like your fatty face, or you can say that the person is too much white, okay. Yeah. Similarly, sometimes you can say that you want to increase both x, y greater than 1. It is also possible, increase case especially. Uniform case, of course, your delta x. Delta y should be simultaneously increase or decrease. 
and the formula for this what you need x prime basically now i think x prime is nothing new for you basically these are the coordinates of some prime p okay point so change along x axis delta x of course you are multiplying with original x similarly change along y you are multiplying this delta y okay with the original vector so of course you are new matrix delta x 0 0 delta y you need to multiply with original vector this will give you the scaling it's very simple i may ask here in the this formula will become scaling okay p is the original point as you can say vector so you can get it is it really difficult? No. Oh, sir. Actually, I don't need to teach you. Okay. Yes, sir. You can do it, okay? Yes, uh, any question, please? <laughs> okay, go. Uh, Please, uh, some student told me that there is some lunch Yes, yes, yes. 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 Y